Hey, what's up? I'm Lucid. Welcome back to Final Fantasy X. So we're going to start off this episode here by talking to Luzu and Gata, these two people here, and let's see what they have to say. Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry, I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir! The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting Sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. Huh, I like how Gata just gave me that really textbook explanation there. That was pretty funny. And also, it seems like Titus here is going to be using the Sin's Toxin thing as an excuse for everything. But you guys know and I know that he really doesn't know anything because he's really not from here. So yeah, it's still a mystery of where he's from. But we'll figure more things out later. So just stay tuned for that. It's a really great story if you ask me. But let's listen to Waka's advice here and go to the temple here. And wow, this guy looks really familiar. If you guys have played any other Final Fantasy games, you might know who he is. Or at least who I think he is. I don't know. Anyways, let's head in here. It might be a good idea to talk to some people, but I'm not really going to. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. So those two big statues you just saw up there, I don't think I can look at them again. But those people are actually some important people. And if you guys want to keep that in mind, you can remember them for later on. But it, it's going to be pretty far down the road that we're going to see them again. But yeah, let's talk to some of these people. Maybe they can give us some insight on what this temple is and what summoners are. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a High Summoner? <gasps> uh, uh, I, I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... 
was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. Man, you gotta give it to this game. It does do a good job on explaining the backstory. Or pretty much is explaining how the game works. While making it seem like it fits in with the plot. But yeah, let's explore these rooms here. It doesn't look like there's anything. I thought there, there was going to be people sitting here, but I guess not. I think there's another room to the other side too. And we'll go down the middle one last, because I actually don't think we can go down there. Oh, okay, there's one guy here. Is he going to give me some free stuff too? Ah, no he's not. What the heck is Sin's Toxin anyways? I'm really not sure. I don't even recall if they explained that. I don't think they do though. Okay. So yeah, only sworn guardians may approach the Cloister of Trials. Okay, well hey, what the heck. Looks like I'm not suited for that task, right? So let's get the heck out of here. Because if I... If I'm recalling correctly, Titus is a hungry man, right? And Waka promised him some food. But before that, let's talk to some other random people. Uh, okay. So it seems like all these guys follow the religion of Yevon. Especially Waka, right? He's kind of a big old nut. He's kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, and okay, I finally, I finally found this guy. He actually explains a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to go through it because I think we'll figure it all out eventually. So I don't want to waste a bunch of time just reading a bunch of text. Because I don't think he actually explains anything. He just kind of lets you read it. There's actually a guy in this game that does a really good job at explaining a lot of stuff, so hopefully we'll come across him soon. So let's talk to Waka here. Sorry man, no time for lunch yet. Take a nap, you look pushed. Alright, and I believe if I say thanks here, it'll progress us forward, so I'm going to do that. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly... But it's been nearly... It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you? Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Wow, so that looked like some kind of a dream Xanderkind or something. Who Waka? knows? Alright, so it looks like Waka disappeared into the the temple or something, right? He followed that priest or whatever the heck that guy was. So let's actually go in there. Why not? And let's find him. Because he promised me a meal and I want that meal. What the heck are you doing, Waka? You should be cooking me a meal. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Huh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed! Like I care! Maybe... This wasn't such a good idea after all. I don't know if that's brave or stupid, but it does bring us to an interesting part of the game. So let's read this. The Cloister of Trials. 
Those who seek to learn of Yevin's secrets, secret arts are tested by the cloister trials. Find the right way and you will be taken to the chamber of the faith. Examine objects with C to open the way. Okay, thanks. So let's look at things. So there's a thing on the wall here. I don't think we can look at it. So I guess it's not really letting me. But I can look at this thing. So let's look at that. Strange glyph glows. Huh. Oh man, I really hope I remember how to do this. Basically... Well, okay, this is a bit of a spoiler, but not really. But we're gonna go find the summoner who's gonna... Who we're gonna add to our party. And if you guys know how summoners work in Final Fantasy, they basically call out... Uh... Well, they're summons. It's sometimes called different things in different games, but they pretty much summon things. And they use those things to attack and stuff. So it's pretty cool. We're, and what we're doing here is going through the trial to get one of the things that they summon. So, in these things, in Final Fantasy X, in the Cloister of Trials, there's actually something that you guys should keep at, an eye out for, and that's the Destruction Spheres, I believe. Because those unlock the treasures. And you need to collect all the treasures for something, to unlock something at the end of the game. So you should keep that in mind. And I'm going to be trying to do that because this is something I don't want to miss, because it's a big pain in the butt to come back to get everything. But anyways, this thing kind of explains some more. Wow, that's some crazy technology. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure they're not going to call it, like, technology. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's magic. Who knows? And it seems like even though I have two freaking hands, I can only carry one sphere at a time. Okay. Well, that makes sense, right? Sure, because I totally need to keep a hand free. Okay, let's insert that there, why not? And can I take it back? Yeah, I can. Wow, did I even need that? I don't remember. Oh, I really don't remember this at all. And walking through here is kind of weird. Alright, do I need a glyph sphere in this one? Oh, I guess I do. What the heck? I need a destruction sphere somewhere. Is this what it is? Oh yeah, hey, I found it. Now where the heck was I supposed to put this? That's the real question. Because I have no idea. Do I put it here? You assume that it breaks something because it's the destruction sphere, right? But it looks like that's not the right place to put it. Or is it? Oh man, I can't read these glyphs. What the heck do they mean? Oh wait, is this one of the pushing blocks? I think it is. No, it's not. You know what? I'm gonna shove this back in the door that I just took it from. No, not the... Oh, wait! Alright, this might be stupid. I might be wasting time here, but... Does it go over here? The destruction sphere is supposed to go somewhere. I just don't remember where. Alright, it's totally not there. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm pretty sure I'll come across where it's supposed to go, eventually. But, ah, oh, I can't even take that back. What the heck? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, touch the symbols. Duh! Man, I'm, I'm kind of stupid at night. I shouldn't play this game at night. What the heck? Alright, what's in here? Alright, the Besaid Sphere. Yeah, let's take that. So every location we go to with the Cloister of Trials is going to have its own sphere named after the location. And pretty much we just need those to progress towards the end of the, end of the Cloister of Trials, I think. If I'm remembering correctly. And okay. Yeah, this is one of those pushy blocks. I was just wait pushing it at the wrong time. And I guess it's a pedestal. This isn't Spelunky. <laughs> Alright. If you move it improperly, step on the shining glyph to return the pedestal to its original place. Okay, sure. Can I go backwards? Yes, I can. Alright. So this thing resets things in case you mess up. Which I probably... Well, I hope I don't. What the heck? That'd be pretty embarrassing if I mess this up. Looks like it's just a straight line to the... to the spot where I'm supposed to drop it off at. Hey! It's gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. 
It's a tradition. Very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it? No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. I is the summoner all right? <gasps> Who are you? Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Alright guys, I'm sure you realize this, and I realized it too, but I totally screwed that up. I did not do the destruction sphere thing correctly. Oh man. Alright, now this guy's not gonna let me back in. So I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna reload another save and go back and do that. I'll include it at the end of this video. But yeah, sorry about that. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to grab it and put it into the spot where I grabbed the Besaid Sphere. But yeah, it's okay. Oh hey, let's also talk to this blue guy here. Because he looks interesting. But never mind, I can't. What the heck? Wow, okay. I see how it is. What? Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. Okay.
had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. All right, and we get to name our new summon here, and they're actually called Aeons in this game. So I'm just going to go with the standard, well, the default name, not standard. And we're just going to name it Veil vale 4 here. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! Nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Victory! 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 Yeah! All right, well that's a nice speech, but I'm gonna have to end off the episode here, guys. Uh, it's already we're already like 20 minutes in, and I'm gonna include that extra bit with the destruction sphere here at the end because I messed that up. But I do want to show you guys how it's done. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a thumbs up and or subscribing, I do read all comments so feel free to leave one. And yeah, see you next time, I'm gonna include the bit now.